I'm Brian Abel. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. A fugitive mistakenly released by Ohio police back in custody. Talion Brazil captured on Detroit's east side. It all started with a police chase that ended in a crash near a gas station on Harper and Connor. And it turns out that driver believed to be Brazil's brother. Brazil was locked up in Saginaw, but also faced felony gun and drug charges in Ohio. During his case there, he was accidentally released on bond. Detroit teachers, they are gearing up for contract negotiations. The current contract, it ends in June. And today, members of Detroit Public Schools Community District's largest labor union called a press conference to share with the public their demands. The teachers and support staff are asking for more support from Lansing as well as the school district. They want smaller class sizes and competitive wages with neighboring school districts. Let's get a check of weather with Mike Taylor. Mike. Looking at your Sunday morning, temperatures are going to be near 32 degrees. We'll have a little bit of snow coming through, so it could be a slick start. After that, we start to warm up. 46 degrees for the high on Sunday, 44 on Monday. We should get some more sunshine on Monday, and then after that, things change completely. From Tuesday through Thursday, we'll be tracking two systems. Temperatures drop, highs only 30 degrees on Wednesday. All right, Mike, February, it's Black History Month, and this month and really every month, you can celebrate African American history and culture each day, there will be programs and events throughout Metro Detroit exploring the achievements and spirits of African American history makers. We do have a list of events and much more on our website, WXYZ.com. Those are your headlines. Remember, you can always go to WXYZ.com and our app for news anytime. I'm Brian Abel. Have a great day.